Up next is Cole and a church share Faithful Bond. And one student balances everyday life with a promising musical career. All this and more? Frisco ISD TV starts now. Welcome to this edition of Frisco ISD TV. I'm Tyler James. And I'm Shekinah Berry. Thanks for tuning in. In its elementary, my dear, here's an example where there's no separation between church and state. Sam Stockard has more. The sanctuary is being brought to the school as St. Philip's Church is helping out students. And this faithful relationship with Bright Elementary has been around for a while. St. Phillips actually started in 2002 meeting in Bright Elementary School Cafeteria. So um, it just seemed like a natural fit. And we moved into our buildings from the cafeteria um, just down the street, Stonebrook, in 2006. And it was at that point that Susie Graham, the principal, contacted us and said that she had some boys that needed a positive male role model. And our pastor, Father Clay, actually offered himself to come and mentor some boys, and that's how it started. One program tries to get students to the bookshelves. And we quickly realized that one of the other problems um, and maybe opportunities at the school was to improve reading rates. The, there was a time fifth graders were about 48 percent were reading below their grade level. And so we visited with Susie and some of the teachers at Bright and decided that the best thing to do was to start a reading mentor program. And so we had the uh, traditional mentor program where we, we work with emotional, social, academic things. And then we also have a reading buddies program. And that's usually kinder, first, and second graders. And so we started the Bright Reader Summer Fun Club. And it was a fun place and a safe place for kids to come to and to just learn to love to read. The summer reading program, oh my gosh. I mean, starting in probably April, the kids start asking me, are we doing the reading program again this summer? Are we going to have the, you know, they are very excited about everything. What I liked about it was that how whenever, like this year, well, in the summer, whenever they did the mysteries where you went around and looked for the words and you wrote it down on your little notepad in the mystery books that they read to you. In first grade, I really didn't really know how to read, and that actually helped me. And it's fun because they have games and activities for us to play. St. Phillips also gives out bags so students can carry a collection that encourages creativity. And one of the projects that we do is um, brain builder bags. And we give those to second graders. And it is a bag full of all kinds of activities for them to do over the summer that will help them to use some of the skills um, that they've used, some of the math strategies or reading strategies that they've learned over the school year. The Brain Builder bags, oh my gosh, they love them. I mean, as they're coming out of school. In fact, one of the moms said something to me. She's like, oh my gosh, because we've done it for two or three summers now. And um, her, she's had two different children. And both of them have been able to get the Brain Builder bags and love them. What I liked about it was the notepad because I like to respond whenever I read a good book. Another program is aimed at breaking down the language barrier. At Bright, there's a high level of um, families that don't speak English at home as their first language. So since 2010, we've had an adult um, English as a second language class that we offer here at Bright Elementary. And um, we offer different levels of the of English ESL classes and we offer child care for the um, kids and we find that that helps them to be better parents, to, be, to get better jobs, to communicate with their teachers, help their children with their homework. Um, the list of opportunities is great. It seems St. Phillips could be in good graces with Bright Elementary after all their work they've done and continue to do with their students. I'm Sam Stockard for Frisco ISD TV. Thanks, Sam. In the middle of it all, Sandra Tenney has the inside track on these middle schoolers who receive special motivation from one of the most powerful people in Frisco. 
Students were all ears at Cobb Middle School when the mayor of Frisco led them on a path to potential success. Mayor Mayor Mosso brought his A-game, sharing his thoughts on what it takes to be a great leader. A good leader is a well-rounded leader and they have many different skills, but one of the key things that you should have as a leader is listening skills. Uh, it's one of the more difficult things to do. You always want to jump out and give your opinion or, or interact, but a good leader really listens and understands things first and really is, is cautious about offering an opinion to start with. So uh, one of the key skills for a good leader is, is active listening skills. Teen leadership students share what leadership means to them. Leadership is the ability for someone to be followed by others. You need to know, like, stand your ground and know what you believe and not let people push you around. Mayor Masso hopes his life lessons will impact students. So I hope they learn some of the things that I've experienced over the years. I think they'll learn a little bit from me and I'll learn a little bit from them. Both Mayor Masso and team leadership students shared their favorite leaders. One of the, the first that would jump out at me is my brother-in-law, who happened to have been the chairman and CEO of Boeing, which is you know, a large company with around 200,000 employees. So obviously he's, he's garnered a lot of experience from the leadership perspective, and he's offered a lot of that to me, and he's mentored me, so I've learned a lot from him over the years. I would think my mom. I would choose my brother because he always he achieves so much and he ne like never gives up no matter what it's not just leaders it's uh you know people that are going about doing what they do best uh, those things that you glean from people you don't really necessarily call leader uh, make you a better leader mayor Masso is often seen throughout the district showing how as a city leader he takes time to help young people succeed i'm sandra tinney for frisco isd tv shekinah are you feeling flyer than fly yeah, actually, now that you said it, I'm feeling cooler than cool. Just like this story in Higher Learning. I'm feeling flyer than fly. I'm feeling cooler than cool. On the court, he's Dallas McFadden. On the stage, he's D. Wade. This Lone Star High School student seems to be living the best of both worlds as he balances school and his career. Becoming an artist was always something that was in the back of my head behind sports and stuff like that. But it really came about when I was nine years old and I had a laptop, one of those laptops that had the built-in microphones. You could just say whatever you wanted on it. And uh, I made my first song on that. And since then, it's just kind of took off. Shooting for the best shot, Dallas finds a way to make the crowd jump. I play basketball for the school. I'm on the freshman team. I'm the point guard. Yeah, we rock. <laughs> Dallas's mom and manager, also known as Mominger, lends a hand as his number one supporter. We're the family support, just like with any kid who plays sports or you know does piano or does anything musically. We help him with as far as he wants to take it. Um, he's taken it pretty far, become pretty serious about it. So we help him by you know helping him contact people when he wants to do shows and things like that. Dallas made his way to the land of big stars through a national competition. I flew down to LA to do the uh, Kid Star Talent Search. It's actually a webisode, and uh, they came down and filmed us, and it was a national competition. All kinds of kids, 50,000 contestants entered, and uh, they picked eight. And the eight went down there, and we competed, and one came out winning, but you have to figure it out. You have to watch it. <laughs> the LA trip was pretty crazy, um, not knowing anything about anything until we got there, but it was a lot of fun. Hola. Hey. You know my name? This is an original song called You Mad, Bro? for you. Double life can sometimes mean double work. Benefit, um, I didn't have to do any work while I was there. Like I had to do musical work, but I didn't have to do any homework. On the downside, I didn't realize that I had to do all of it when I got back. So plus what I had. So that was probably the up and down. Similar to the reality show X Factor, this kid version has finally found their winner. RCA Records would like to sign Dallas. It was an awesome experience. You know, the whole thing is an awesome experience. Getting to perform here, getting to have all my family and friends here gathered to, to witness me get this RCA contract and everything. A big congrats and good luck to Dallas as he continues his dream. I'm Ashley Broom for Frisco ISD TV. I can totally rap like that. Yeah, sure. Okay. Many teens are starting to get their driver's license, and over at the CTE Center, one student is reminding them to stay safe. Ethan Newman has more. This 
agency hopes to ensure that young people get the message when it comes to being safe behind the wheel, and they took notice of this CT Center student's drive to deliver that message. Teens in the Driver's Seat is a peer-to-peer -peer program, and this contest is a statewide contest we do in Texas each year, the sixth annual contest. There's two categories, there's posters and videos, and we take entries from teenagers all across the state of Texas. Teens in the Driver's Seat partnered with State Farm for a media contest aimed at turning the wheels on unsafe driving. Elizabeth Reyes was presented with many awards for her poster design. As I was going, I was like discovering things that went together, and I thought it would be really cool to create the car out of like things that could be distracting and facts about distractions. It's really cool to like be recognized because you put a lot of hard work into your projects and then it's cool to hear that somebody really enjoyed it. Reyes reached her destination by being selected out of 180 entries. We have two scoring categories that can be judged from 1 to 10, 10 being the highest score on the, the creativity, originality of the message and then the other category is a, a technical execution or the quality of the actual messaging. I was overwhelmed and very excited when we got the email that Elizabeth had won. Um, her contest piece um, had excellent layout and typography design. For her efforts, the clutch was $2,000 for the school, a plaque, and a certificate. The $2,000 um, award is um, very good for our program. Um, it says that we have continued to build the program. Um, it will allow us to possibly purchase some items and enter new contests. Congratulations, Elizabeth. I'm Ethan Newman for Frisco ISD TV. Remember to stay safe while on the road. In FISD events, Ashlyn Rodriguez has this story on how the First Lady is helping Frisco ISD. A district with dedicated volunteers, one Frisco ISD mom has gone beyond the norm. Renee Emke is the first woman to lead the Frisco ISD school board. Well, I was a high school English teacher by profession until we moved to Frisco in 1996. Then when my youngest, Sam, finally started going to Mother's Day Out, I started volunteering in the Kurtzinger Library, just an hour a week. And the librarian there, Jana Scott, made me feel like a million bucks. And so because I really liked her so much, I wanted to volunteer more, so I would volunteer more. And then they asked me to do the book fair for her, and then I did the book fair, and then look what happens when you volunteer in the library for an hour. Um, and, and really being on the board was just an extension of volunteer service. Her fellow board members and experiences help keep her in the zone. And I work with six other people who are excellent board members. They are really true examples of servant leadership. Being president just allows me to be the, their face out in public um, with the media and represent them. What I personally like about being on the board as a whole is it lets me be a teacher without having to grade papers. With such an important job, Emke always keeps in mind what it's like to be a parent. I think it's really important. Every board member sitting up at this table has, has had kids in the district at one point. Some of us still do. I've had three go through and graduate and one that's still in the district. What that did was help me, when, I'm, when we're making decisions up here, I can look at them from an elementary, a middle school, or a high school parent's perspective. So our job is to really never forget what it feels like to be them. The reward for her work is nothing money can buy. The payoff is really feeling like you're making a difference and giving back. I owe this district so much for, for what they've done for us and my kids. And I can never repay that. And so if this is the, the minimum I can do to help, then it's worth it. While being the first female board president is already impressive, Renee Emke has higher goals. What I want to be remembered for is not necessarily being the first woman board president, but being a good board president. Eighty percent of our workforce in FISD is, are women. Um, I think it's important that they see us in leadership positions, especially the girls in the district, to know, yeah, I can be a leader too. The fact that I'm a woman, okay, but I just I want to be known for it because I was good at it. It seems that Frisco ISD has a lot to learn from this ultimate volunteer. I'm Ashlyn Rodriguez for Frisco ISD TV. Congrats to Renee Imke on this big achievement. That's it for this edition of Frisco ISD TV. Join us next time as we see how an elementary school welcomes a very special guest. And look at construction underway on Frisco ISD's 7th High School. I'm Tyler James. And I'm Shekinah Berry. Thanks for watching.